Hey, what's going on? Well, I just want to take a second here to remind everybody, just like myself, who overshoot and develop bad habits from overshooting. It, you can easily do that without even knowing that you're doing it. But I just want to remind you, on rainy days like it is today, take the time and go five yards or less. And we're going to take a few shots and I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. Working on your form, your steady bow hand, shooting fingers or release or whatever bow it may be other than a crossbow because you don't need to do this with a crossbow. But you need to maintain a steady push pull through your shot with the fingers so that string will track as straight as possible when it rolls around the tips of your fingers. Gloves and a tab will also help, but I usually just shoot bare fingers. But developing bad habits can form out of nowhere and target panic. Like, there's, I go in and out of that crap. I'll want to I'll, I'll wanna just release, have that anticipation to release. I developed that a long time ago, and shooting a little lower draw weight helps, but it still creeps back on me, so I got to sit in here most of the time even before work and stuff when we're if I'm working far away I'll still do it in the morning like four o'clock in the morning I'll shoot three or four arrows at my target here at about five yards just to it's brain training is all it is and you'll want to make sure your bows tuned you have the right arrow rest knock height arrow spine combination, draw weight. Remember, don't overbow yourself because it'll hurt you in the long run. You do not want to do that. It's not good. It's called archery for a reason, so you can see that arch of the arrow. And that helps a lot when you're shooting instinctively. So I'm gonna set up here and take a couple shots and maybe show you what I'm talking about. You can kind of see my release. I'll try to get a couple different angles and we'll just talk our way through it. I know a lot of you guys, you gotta ha have the problem with wanting to shoot too quick, and when you're shooting instinctively, try not to second guess yourself on your hold, because usually your first feeling of where you need to hold, that's where you need to be. So, and you can manipulate your point of aim of where you wanna hit with draw weight. You can go up or down, or point weight of your arrow, but you got to keep everything in tune also. But you got to just mess around. Even brace height tuning is a thing if you really need to do that. But this is my Phoenix Short. It's it's a six inch brace height. And this bow, right now I'm shooting it at about, I think I weighed it yesterday at 53 pounds. I was at 48. I killed off four or five deer or whatever I shot this year with and that buck with 48 pounds. And I'm, I'm always experimenting. I put the F modules in this, put it, at, put it at 53 pounds, and I didn't weigh it till it was shooting a bare shaft straight. And on this setup, I was actually able to spin my rest out a little further. Usually it's closer to the riser. So that's a 340 gold tip, full length, with F modules at 53 pounds and the bottom of my brass knock point is at okay you see that I got that right on the rest and actually it's at 9 16 to the bottom of that knocking point I know maybe it might seem a little high but that's to the top of the knock so yeah Eighth, eighth of an inch or whatever to the bottom of the knot. It's not too high and nothing's ever wrong if it tunes perfect to the way you shoot. And remember we all got different facial configurations and I shoot split out of these. Out of stick bows and stuff I always used to shoot three under because I never could get used to that big huge gap between my arrow and, and the target. And it was just hard for me back when I was younger doing that. So three under, I was really accurate with that, doing that with them stick bows. 
And back then I shot a, a, a Navajo stick, a Navajo longbow. Sucker was smooth and fast. But anyway, I'm gonna take a couple shots here. And this is what I'll do on, on days when I think I need to, because I, I always need training, because I'll shoot a lot of arrows and I develop bad habits quick. But this is just a little trick that helps you lay off, lay off from walking outside shooting a bunch. Just shoot close. A lot of times I'll sit here, draw back, and just say, hey, lock in. And then I then sometimes I'll just go say, make it count. Hold on your spot. And then relax. And that was a nice, perfect shot. Arrow went exactly where I wanted. You know, a lot of times, if I'm having problems like that, I'll come up with sayings to say to myself to try to help calm down and not have that anticipation to release. But uh, most of the time, that's what I'll say. I'll, when I draw back, I'll lock in. Lock in just means lock into your anchor. Don't move. And then make it count. I'll find the point I want to hit, and I'll just try to get as steady as I can on that. And then just say, hey, hey, dummy, just relax. You're making it count. Now you start relaxing. You're on your spot. That means relax your release fan, your fingers. Boom. Pull through it. Just relax your fingers and, and let her go off. That's just, some, that's just something I do. So here, let's do another one. too. So here, here, let's look at this. There's two right there. I was trying to hit those spots, which I mean it's at like four yards or whatever. Remember when you're doing this inside just take your time. There's no rush. Try to push pull, make a good crisp release and have confidence in where your left hand's holding. Felt good. When you're shooting in here this close, you can pick out just spots the size of marbles to try to put your arrow in. Just do whatever it takes, take your time. Try to make sure you don't have that anticipation to release. Always focus on what you want to hit and have confidence in where you're holding. are flying nice nice and straight into that target when you push and pull through your shot that string breaks off your fingertips just perfectly just what you want feels good so hey, I'm gonna cut this off here. But remember, if you guys are starting to have problems, you're not having confidence or whatever, go in close. Find a good solid anchor. My index finger usually wraps around my cheekbone right here. And 
that knuckle it's up in there in that soft spot just under my ear behind your jawbone that's about if I'm there and generally I'm gonna hit what I want or at least close to it so it all takes practice it takes a little time you've got to get out there and practice if you want to do it traditionally and if you put forth the effort it's more rewarding anyways doing it this way makes it a lot of fun too you can go out small game hunting shooting shooting stuff on the run on the fly yeah so we'll catch you on the next one get out there and shoot your bows and if you're uh, in the market for a new bow or anything and you want to check out the Oneida they're, they're, they're the way to go even shooting releases with sights my brother and my wife shoot with that uh, shoot like that and my wife just stacks them in there she shoots a she shoots better with that Oneida short with her uh, release and sight than she ever has they're so forgiving here's her setup Just an all-around good bow. We'll see you guys on the next one.